I mean, second house, which is the house of family, kutum, money, wealth, and so many other things is controlled by second house. Fifth house is for children, it's for your strategies, for your intelligence, for your wisdom, your past karmas, so many other things fifth house signifies, speculation, um, and your, you know, good deeds. The ninth house is fortune, and the twelfth house is spirituality. So, I mean, very important aspects is is uh, signified by Jupiter. And especially if you don't have luck, I mean, even if you work hard and you don't have luck, nothing is going to happen to you. Nothing good is going to happen. So, Jupiter is a very important house which you have to see in the horoscope. And if Jupiter is good, then your life is good. I mean, I'm not saying that the other planets are not important. But if Jupiter becomes a king of your horoscope, it's the strongest planet, it gives you a lot of things. And for seeing Jupiter, it is not that you have to see Jupiter is exalted or Jupiter is strong, but you have to see that the planets in the 2nd, 5th, ninth, and 12th, what are the planets placed there? If the planets are inimical to Jupiter, like your planets like Venus, you have Mercury, you have Saturn. Saturn, Jupiter is benevolent to Saturn. But Saturn is not benevolent to Jupiter. So if you have planets like uh, uh, like uh, Venus, you have Mercury, you have Saturn, you have Rahu. These are four planets. If they are placed in your ninth house, especially fifth house or twelfth house, they will spoil the Jupiter to that extent. And whatever the powerful your Jupiter is, it will have an impact of these planets because the Kartatva of two, five, nine, twelve. In together, together make you know the, the, the together make Jupiter. So if you have planets which are not inimical, which are inimical to Jupiter, the Jupiter ke against hai, jaisa ki aapke Shani hua, Rahu hua, Budh hua, ya Shukra hua. If these planets are placed there, it reduces the power of Jupiter and makes it negative. Even if apparently you must see it is very strong. So you have to see ki what are the planets in these four houses before you declare that Jupiter is excellent and Jupiter is going to give good results. But yes, if there are planets, more of these negative planets in the ninth house, it will create problems in fortune. Today, 12th house is very important because 12th house is all about working in the back, social media, communication. Uh, whatever we are doing today is all governed by 12th house in terms of internet, spectrum, communication. Uh, strategy to the back, artificial intelligence, everything actually is all governed by the 12th house. Fifth house is a very important house for what, how you deal, what big strategist you are. And second house is both for money, kutum, general happiness. So if, you know, you have planets like Rahu, you have planets like um, Saturn, you have Venus, Mercury, placed in the ninth house, it will spoil the fortune of ninth house badly. Similarly, if planets are then in the second house, it will uh, spoil the second house. But if you have distributed planets in all these three, four houses, I mean, the negative planets which are not uh, friendly to Jupiter, it will spoil all the houses and actually spoils the horoscope. So that is how you have to see the strength of uh, Jupiter in any particular um, horoscope. And if Jupiter is strong in your horoscope, uh, you are the king. 50% of your issues are resolved. With this, I end my video. Thanks and bye for now.